patent application Poland number 435454, a method of cleaning exhaust gases emitted by diesel engines in particular installed at sea transport vessels. Authors Dr. Andrzej Pawelec, Prof. Andrzej Dzichmielewski, Prof. Torim Stoms. Heavy fuel oil containing up to 3.5% by weight of sulfur is the basic marine fuel and sulfur and nitrogen oxides are emitted as a result of combustion of these fuels in diesel engines. As pollution of the marine environment increases, the scope of activates aimed at preventing this phenomenon gradually expands. According to the current regulations of the International Maritime Organization on Nitrogen Oxides, 80-90% to reductions of NOx emission is required. Similarly, in the case of sulfur dioxide, an emission limit was introduced corresponding to the content of half percent sulfur in the fuel. That means the requirement of more than 80% reduction of sulfur dioxide emission. In order to emission control of both major inorganic pollutants present in the exhaust gas, it is necessary to use two separate emission control systems connected in series. In the case of maritime transport, combinations of catalytic reductions with seawater scrubbing is the most often used. However, these are two independent installations working under different conditions. NOx removal in the SCR method takes place at the temperatures above 300 Celsius degrees and is carried out right after the combustion chamber of the engine, while sulfur dioxide removal in the scrubber takes place at temperatures of 20 to 40 Celsius degrees and is carried out before the exhaust gas outlet. Meeting the requirements of emission reduction in the accordance with the current regulations with a combination of these methods generates high investments and operating costs, high energy consumption in the entire process and requires a lot of space to install both installations. Therefore, technologies allowing for this simultaneous control of the emission of these pollutants are being sought. One such method is the electron beam fuel gas treatment technology originally developed for application in power generation industry. This method uses the beam of accelerated electrons to generate free radicals and thus to initiate the oxidation process of inorganic pollutants to higher oxides. These oxides, in reaction with water vapor and ammonia added to the exhaust gas from appropriate ammonium salts which are then removed by use of filters. Modification of electron beam flue gas treatment technology allows for its application for treatment of exhaust gases from marine diesel engines. In this process, no ammonia is used, but the gases irradiated in the reactor are directed towards scrubber where they are absorbed in seawater. However, also in the case, NOx removal for the impute concentration of the pollutant is 1700 ppm V, typical for marine engine exhaust gases, did not exceed 51%. Due to the fact that in the case of exhaust gases from a diesel engine, the concentrations of nitrogen oxides are very high and the solutions used so far do not meet the requirements of the process as regards the high degree of removal of both gases pollutants. The solution was to connection of the reactor with the process water circuit of a scrubber. In the method of exhaust gases treatment, according to present invention, the exhaust gases from the marine diesel engine are directed to the reactor, where the gases are irradiated with the electron beam from the accelerators, while the process water from the scrubber circuits its spread at the gas inlet to the reactor, and then the irradiated gases are directed to the scrubber, where pollutants are absorbed in the process water. Purified gases are directed to the outlet and the process water is purified and returned to the scrubber and reactor. In order to maintain the alkaline pH of the process water and increase the efficiency of the process, an alkaline solution and an oxidant are being added. The invention allows to effective gas purification by about 5-10% to more effective than methods where not process water spraying was used. In addition, the addition of an oxidizer in the process water supports the oxidation of sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxide, which increases the efficiency of the entire process. The pollutants removal efficiency according to the process invention has been confirmed by laboratory tests.
The flue gases of sulfur dioxide contain 700 ppmV and NOx contain 1700 ppmV were irradiated with an electron beam of 800 kilo electron volts energy from the accelerator with simultaneous spraying of the process water in the reactor and without spraying of the process water in the reactor. Then the gases were directed to the scrubber. The process water in the scrubber circuit imitated seawater and contained 3.5% sodium chloride and 1.5% oxidant which was sodium chloride. The pH of the solution was 8 due to the addition of sodium hydroxide to neutralize the absorbed acid pollutants. 10% of the process water steams were sprayed in the reactor. As a result of the ongoing process it was found that the efficiency of pollutants removal was 99% in relation to sulfur dioxide. In the case of NOx, for the absorbed radiation dose of 12 kg, the removal rate was 92% for no water spraying in the reactor and 97% when spraying the process water solution in the reactor. The obtained results allow to fulfillment of all legal requirements concerning the emission of sulfur and nitrogen oxides from the sea transport units. There are also further work carried out in order to prepare the developed technology for implementation. The first in the world practical demonstration of the possibility of marine diesel engine fuel gas treatment with use an innovative hybrid technology combined exhaust gases radiation by electron beam from an accelerator with the absorption of pollutants in water solution was held at the Riga shipyard. The tests were carried out in real conditions and the engine of the tugboat moored at the quay was the exhaust gas source. It is also planned to construct a demonstration installation on the ship. A concept of such project has been prepared with the intention of partial financing from the European funds. Therefore, it can be hoped that the invention will find practical application allowing to improvement of the quality of the marine environment.